it's come to my attention that some people think they don't need to hire my friend Ollie Matthews to help them with their health. So I'm here today in Ollie's office, you see, we strategically have placed his website. We strategically have placed his sign up page. That's revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash ice cream. You can go there and you can get a guide on how to look half decent and still eat ice cream. But today I'm going to go through 10 things, 10 reasons that you shouldn't hire Ollie Matthews for your health optimization, especially if you're an entrepreneur. The first one is that you already know what to eat. You already know what protein to have. You already know what carbs to have. You already know the good things, the bad things. You already know the foods that are going to trigger you and cause you to binge eat, cause you to fall off track, cause you to feel rubbish the next day, cause you to lose focus, cause you to get brain fog. You already know these foods. So you don't need, you don't need to have anyone to give you any guidance to eat the right foods. Number two. Ollie is very well known for his ability to create a plan specifically for entrepreneurs and your busy schedule. But you already know how to schedule your schedule around your meetings, around your masterminds, and around every single thing you need to do as a busy, successful entrepreneur. You already know how to do this. So why would you need Ollie's help? You're not too busy. You can fit your training in. You can get to the gym or you can do your home workout. You do not need to hire Ollie to do this. I wouldn't hire him. Why should you? Number three. You can spend the money elsewhere. None of us have got time to spend money on our health. I haven't. I tried to kill myself so many different times. You've seen the movies, right? For some reason, I can't kill myself. So I don't need to invest in my health. Shit, I even grow back legs when they get chopped in half. Fucking juggernaut. I don't need to invest in my health. I can spend money elsewhere on shiny cars and shiny Rolexes. And be this entrepreneur that everyone sees on Instagram, everyone sees on the pictures, everyone sees on social media. And get shiny object syndrome rather than focus on my health. That's cool. You can spend the money elsewhere. The fourth reason is that you're already healthy. You're already completely happy with what you see in the mirror. I wear a mask for a reason. I don't want the public to see my scarred face, but my abs are pretty cool. Now you're already healthy, you're already sleeping properly, you've already got enough focus, you're already getting enough money out of it. You're already leveled up. That's what entrepreneurs say, right? The fifth reason is that you just haven't got the time. You haven't got the time to have someone there that you have to check into. In fact, that's more a fact that you haven't admitted that that accountability could take you to that next level. But you haven't got the time for accountability. You're happy doing what you've always done to get where you're always gone. That's Einstein's definition of insanity, right? I believe so. <sighs> Number six. You are cool, 100% cool, with wasting money, trying a different fad, trying a different pyramid marketing scheme and MLM, trying shake diets, trying things that don't work for you, 
but purely because another entrepreneur done it. They said it's good. They got no qualifications in health and fitness or any of this stuff, but you're cool with trying it. Number seven, you're cool with starting over and over and over and over again. It's frustrating, right? But number eight is that your partner is cool with you starting over and over again. Your partner is cool with you wasting money on those fads. Your partner is cool with you not being happy where you want to be. Your partner is cool with you being unhealthy. That's cool, right? I've said cool enough times, so you should know that it's cool. Number nine, you already follow every single thing that Dave, that Dave says, and Tim says, on both of those podcasts. So you're bulletproof and already have four hours a week that you can work. You follow all those things, that is 100% cool because you're already healthy, you're already doing those things. And number 10, number 10, where I, Deadpool, believe that you, Mr. or Mrs. Successful Entrepreneur, should not hire Ollie Jordan Matthews, international best-selling author, and health optimization coach for some of the world's leading entrepreneurs, you should not hire him. <sighs> because you're happy making all those extra decisions over and over and over and over again. I feel like I'm Spider-Man here. Choo, choo, choo. Over and over again. You're happy with that. You're happy with decision fatigue. You're happy with every single thing we've said here. You're happy that you already know what to eat. You're happy because you know how to schedule things in. You're happy because you can spend money elsewhere and get that flashy Rolex. You can get that bright and you can get them both. You're happy with that. That shiny objects you're gonna make up for your heart when it falls down because you've hustled too hard. You're happy with that. You're already healthy. You say you haven't got time, but that's cool. You're happy with that. If you're cool with wasting money trying these new fads, your partner's cool with it, you're happy with starting over, you already do things that Dave and Tim says, you're happy. That's cool. If you're not, go and speak to Ollie. He knows what he's doing. It's no surprise. It's no coincidence he gets the results he gets with entrepreneurs around the world, go and speak to him. Now. Why are the turtles in here? I'm Marvel, why are the turtles in here? Just cut that, cut that, cut that, no turtles in here.